111. And uh, this young lad is from Dubbo. Mark Rainan, put your hands together, please, ladies and gents, for Mark Rainan. Mark's uh, ridden very impressively this weekend and finds himself in the final. It's been a very long weekend of riding for Mark, as it has been for everybody, but he's there in the final. So congratulations to you, Mark. Now, the second rider to come down will be the young rider from Mudgee, and that's young James Skinner. This is his first track season, quite an achievement for this lad. Coming down with his very proud father, onto the line. Finds himself in the final of the New South Wales Under-11 Sprint Championship. Put in some very brave rides to get there through rapid charges, as uh, a couple of the other riders have too. Just being congratulated for being in the final by the Chief Commissaire. Now, the third rider is a rider who is no stranger to us here at Mudgee, a former Mudgee resident and Mudgee rider, but now domiciled with the Parramatta Club in Sydney. Put your hands together for Brendan Pond, ladies and gentlemen. Brendan is another lad. This is only Brendan's second track season. He cut his teeth with the Mudgee Club last year, uh, moved to Sydney recently and uh, has swept all before him down there this year on the track. Now, uh, coming up last and certainly not least is the current multiple state champion in different events, uh, from the town of Inverell, a beautiful town where there's a big event next week, the three-day uh, bicycle carnival. Give me a big round of applause for Heinrich Hausler, a rider who's well known to us all. Okay, now riders, uh, please pay attention. The Chief Commissaire wishes to perform a gear check on your bicycles for each of you at the conclusion of the event. So please come straight off the track after your event over to the gear checking mechanism and uh, we'll run you over the tape. Okay, ladies and gents, there's the finalist in the Junior Under 11 State Championship today. Uh, on the side of the track is uh, Mark Rainer. This, this race is over two laps. And there's going to be lots of jockeying for positions here. Young James Skinner wants to be in part of the action. And uh, he's down underneath uh, Heinrich Hausler. Then there's Brendan Pond trying to come in between them, followed by Mark Rayner. And this should be a fantastic race, ladies and gents. It's one I've been looking forward to all weekend. And uh, I'm really pleased with the, uh, the, the quality of riders that we have here and the places they're all from. You know, they're not from the one club, they're from all over the place. And they're the cream of under 11 cyclists in this state. Okay, so now there's riders three, three abreast going through there. There's young Skinner on the bottom from Mudgee. He wants the lead. He's probably following instructions. Above him is uh, Brendan Pond, and on the outside is Heinrich Hausler. Young Skinner's in the right spot, and behind is Mark Rainer. Go! Okay, the going to be And the Heinrich is right off the, off the seat digging deep. The other two riders are, you can forget them, but uh, it's, uh, at this stage it's Mark Rainer going to cause an upset here, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming around the outside. Let's see what Heinrich has to give in, in uh, the final 100 metres. It's Heinrich coming down on the bottom. It's Heinrich out on the bottom. I think Heinrich might just get there. Yes, he's brought back. And he's done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Heinrich Alpha wins the state junior under 11 sprint championship. What a great champion this boy is and has been and certainly will be in the future. But uh, you can't take it away from Mark Rayner because he took it right up to Heinrich Hausler and uh, Brendan Pond finishing on strongly in third place. Young James Skinner probably finding that the, um, the events have been so long today and they had a very hard draw to get through to the final. And uh, that, that was a great final. And we'll be presenting uh, all of those events uh, at the conclusion of the, uh, the, uh, the sprinting this afternoon. Please put your hands together for the third place getter, Brendan Pond from Parramatta. In second place was the uh, flyer Mark Rainer from Dubbo. Second place, the silver medalist in the New South Wales Sprint Championship for the under 11 age group, getting his medal from uh, Alex Fulcher. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, there's no denying the state champion and uh, would have had to have gone into this event the favourite. Uh, all the way from Inverell, put your hands together for Heinrich Hausler. <laughs> A very well-deserved uh, champion. And uh, he's waiting for the crowd, OK? Put your hands up, guys, in victory. Put your hands together for the state champions, ladies and gentlemen.
Sports, and we'd like you to present these reports because you have provided them. The champion of champions in the under-11 age group, the sports goes to Heinrich Hausler. This is a special trophy that's been donated by uh, Cutting Sports. And uh, this report goes over the whole championships for each age group. So uh, Heinrich Hausler picks up the uh, champion of champions award from Alex Sports. So Gary, step up there again. Please, and uh, receive your, uh, your trophy from uh, Alex. held in Mudgee. The 10-year-old today returned home to Inverell with a swag of medals. Illness prior to the event raised doubts as to his chances of doing well, but all was forgotten when he took out the silver medal in the time trial. He followed that performance with a gold medal in the scratch race and a gold in the sprints. To top off an excellent performance, Harnish was awarded the judges champion trophy. To win two gold and one silver medal at the weekend state titles in Mudgee. The youngster has now won five state titles in the one year to become the most successful 10-year-old cyclist in Australia. For Central North and New England Swimming Champions,